Here we are back at the range. Uh, today's plan is to test some 38 Special and 357 Magnum using my 3 inch Taurus 605. It's a 5 shot 357 mag um, with a 3 inch barrel. It's approximately the same size as a Glock 19 uh, in overall length, height, and width and weight. Uh, difference is obviously this is a 5 shot 357, whereas with the Glock 19 you can carry uh, the standard mag, I believe, is 15 rounds of 9mm. So that's kind of the difference, but that's a size comparison for you if you're interested in concealed carrying this particular uh, gun. Um, as always, we'll be testing through my heavy clothing barrier, which is a, a layer of denim, a layer of fleece, and then two layers of cotton t shirt material. Uh, first up today, I've decided we're going to go with the Golden Saber 357 Magnum. I did the 38 special testing already, so I figure we'll compare this with what those uh, 38 special results were. 357, 125 grain, Golden Saber. All right, I decided to start cutting down into these blocks to get an idea of uh, how deep some of these rounds have gone. So let's see, the first one here, first block is about about nine and a half inches thick where these rounds were going through. So into the second block here, I'm not sure you can see down in there, but down in there, there is a round about six inches into the second block, so that's about 15 and a half inches deep, and we're going to dig that one out. So that's that first shot I took, the Golden Saber. Again, 15 and a half inches deep, and that's what it looks like in the 357. Okay, back from the range, uh, as you could see, it was uh, kind of an interesting day. I tried to test several different rounds uh, throughout the day, but I started off with the 357 125 grain Golden Sabre round by Remington. Uh, this is the box it came from. Uh, it's, a, it's a 50 round box. Um, it's the, the bulk pack as opposed to the little 20 rounders that you can generally pick up at your local um, hardware stores or sporting goods stores, etc. So this is the, the bulk box of 50. Um, it, I thought it performed quite well. Um, the round made it to 15 and a half inches in gel through the, through the three inch Taurus 605. Uh, that's what it looks like. Now it may have gotten subsequently, uh, knocked by another round. I'm not hundred percent sure or, or what, cause it wasn't low enough in the block to hit the table. So might have had uh, some incidental contact there because um, it is missing one of the pedals, etc. But we had good expansion and good penetration from that one. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll weigh it up here. And then we'll measure it. So it's supposed to be 125. And it's still holding all of its weight. So might have just gotten smushed in there sideways, just how it hit. Could have been just the result of the impact. They're not always 100% uniform. So that, that, was, that was pretty impressive as far as the weight retention is pretty good. Let's go ahead and we'll uh, check out the uh, measurements on this one as far as expansion goes. So right here we got to 0.55 inches. And. 0.56. This that'll be a little smaller because it's 0 0.50 and then yeah, 0.53. So pretty good expansion on that, pretty good penetration. Overall, pretty impressive. But um, I don't know that it's any more impressive than the prior 38 special test. Again, this got to 15 and a half inches. 
but the 38 special uh, through the same three inch barrel made it to uh, 13 inches and that's what this one was so if you look at the two here side by side those are the two this one here is the 357 this was the 38 and I think the 38 actually had bigger penetrate or bigger expansion and it certainly was expanded further down onto the base than the 357 did and so at first I was wondering well are these the same projectiles you know um because it would make sense that 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 we would just use the same projectiles and just propel them uh faster out of the 357 I looked at the the speeds online I believe the 38 plus P it has rated at 975 feet per second and the 357 is at 1220 feet per second. That's the, the standard rating, um, which is probably from a 6-inch test barrel or, or something like that. So the, these were probably different. So I thought at first maybe the only difference would have been just the, uh, the speed. Uh, but when I look closer, the projectiles look different in the rounds, uh, which I thought is, is interesting. So again, this is the 357 round. Uh, it is a uh, nickel plated brass case, and you can see it is. Uh, there are some scores there on the side, and there's the hollow point cavity, which is not very deep. And then when you compare that, this is the 38 special round. So if you look at. Oops, sorry about that. If you look at the. Uh, comparison there first of all you know the the 38 is shorter obviously but if you look at the bullets themselves if we can get that to focus on the bullets themselves the scores there on the side of the 38 go down quite a bit further and the hollow point cavity is actually wider and deeper in the 38 special and that allows for I think that bigger expansion um, off the 38. So of the two, they both performed really well, but of the two, I'm going to say that the 38 Special did, I think, much better. They both retained their jackets, um, but but yeah, the. Uh, they both retain their jackets, but the 38 Special, I think, just was the better performer out of the two from this brand. Uh, and again, of course, the, the recoil and, and sound um, factors would be would be less with the 38. Um, so again, not meant to be a, a true comparison, but, but between the two, I think the uh, 38 was better. I think the 357 performed really well. Uh, it wasn't, the recoil wasn't terrible. Um, penetration was right where we want it to be. Expansion was good. It was a very solid performer. Just between the 38 and the 357 in the Golden Sabre uh, from Remington, I'd, I'd say the 38's a better option, uh, especially if you're looking at, at potentially needing a, a second uh, follow-up shot or something like that with a lesser recoil. Uh, but overall, again, 357, good performer. Um, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. We've got, again, a lot more 38 and 357 testing on deck.